Okay, we're here to talk about um, bearings, camshaft bearings, and a lot of these uh, higher-end race motors will incorporate what's called a, a roller bearing. It's something like this. A camshaft in this particular case has five of what we call five main journals that the camshaft rides on. Um, and in those main journals, your typical bearing is like your Babbitt bearing. This one happens to be a steel back Babbitt bearing. And that's what you'd find in a conventional application. Um, no problem, no issue with this. They typically uh, won't see a real lot of load. Um, some of the bigger engines also run a Babbitt bearing, but in this particular one, we've choose to run a needle bearing, something like this. And, and this particular one is what we call a 50 millimeter needle bearing. That is measured uh, on the inside as if you mic the camshaft's main journal or one of the five main journals, you'll come out with a reading of 50 millimeter. So inside is 50 millimeter. On the outside here, uh, it's a little bit bigger. So the tunnel, the engine's uh, uh, camshaft tunnel, has to be altered accordingly to accept the larger surface outside. The reason why we do this is twofold. One, that it frees up friction. There's no doubt that um, it adds a little bit of power here and uh, some torque. But what it also does is it reduces the uh, it increases the mechanical reliability and reduces any chance of um, uh, bearing seizure or movement of the bearing material from the excessive loads that are placed down uh, on the lifters onto the camshaft and then the camshaft down onto the uh, five of the main journals here. So we incorporate this uh, fairly good amount of bearing like this. Now, what we've stumbled into as the years are rolling on is that, obviously you know, uh, imports are coming in and uh, companies like uh, SFK or Timken or companies that might have been bought out um, have changed the design a little bit. We try, and, we try and go for or try and find, which is fairly obsolete, uh, what's considered a Timken bearing with uh, a German insignia on it. It says Germany right on here. Uh, getting rare, getting tough to find. The difference is this. These needles are highly polished here in this uh, rollerized bearing here. Whereas the ones from China, let's say, uh, you won't even remotely come close to the polish of this. They're fairly dull. And when you put the camshaft in the block and you happen to have offshore ones, maybe made overseas in China, rather than a good quality one made here in the USA or Germany, um, there's a difference. And uh, there's a difference in the friction. So uh, yeah, things are getting cheaper nowadays and the quality is getting worse. And you gotta really be careful about the quality. It makes it tougher for us as engine builders uh, to go out and find or seek those quality products that we used to use years ago that um, worked. Now it's all about being cautious, paying attention to detail, and uh, making sure you got quality parts in an engine here. All right, this is Ohl's Performance and Machine. Like us on Facebook and uh, share us. Thanks for uh, joining in and thanks for watching.